Brackets are an important part of mathematics and this short video intends to summarise some of the key ideas involved in expanding brackets. Suppose you had the following question. This has got brackets in it. Now we can remove the brackets by expanding and this involves multiplying. So we have a 4 times by an x which gives us 4x and a 4 times a 2 which gives us an 8. That bracket has therefore been expanded. Similarly we might have 3 bracket 2x plus 5 we do 3 times 2x, which is 6x, and 3 times 5, fifteen. I now plan to go through a few more examples. This one looks a bit trickier, but it can be done in a similar way. We have a 2x times a 3x. Now 2 times 3 is 6. And x times x is x squared. So 2x times 3x is 6x squared. We now have a minus. And 2x times 5, which is 5 lots of 2x, is 10 x with the minus sign due to the subtraction within the bracket. Sometimes we get expressions which can have different parts to them. Now the general rule is, is try to sort out the bracket part first. So if we ignore the 5 we see how there is a 2 times x, which is 2x, a 2 times by a minus 3, which is a minus 6. And there's a 5 at the start, so we have a 5, and a minus 6, and a 2x. And the 2x part is by itself, so we have a 2x, but 5 take away 6 is minus there are of course different types of brackets there are also quadratic brackets now for the sake of this I just plan to show you a shortcut for working this out we can draw the following structure which tells us what to times together. Now x times x is x squared. 2 times x is 2x. x times 3 is 3x and 2 times 3 is 6. So we have an x squared, a 2x, a 3x and a 6. We can write that down as x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now for these special types of brackets, observe how 2 plus 3 is 5 and 2 times 3 is 6. That gives us a shortcut for expanding brackets of this type. So, for example, a shortcut. The x and the x gives an x squared when times together. We have a 10 and a 3, which gives us a 13x. And we have 10 times 3, which is 30. 
This works when we have an x and an x here. The final one Using the same logic, we have an x and an x times together, which is x squared. We have a 7, take away 3. 7 take 3 is 4, we have 4x. And finally, 7 times 3 is 21. There's a minus here, so that gives us a minus 21. So that is a short review on some types of brackets. It is worth knowing for module 3.